गुड मॉर्निंग डे स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस कंटिन्यू द लेसन अर्थमेडिक प्रोग्रेशन यस इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी हैव स्टडीड व्हाट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ अर्थमेडिक प्रोग्रेशन व्हाट इज एन अर्थमेडिक प्रोग्रेशन यस अर्थमेडिक प्रोग्रेशन इज अ सीक्वेंस इन व्हिच ईच सक्सेसिंग टर्म इज ऑब्टेंड बाय एडिंग अ फिक्स्ड नंबर टू द प्रीसीडिंग टर्म एक्सेप्ट द फर्स्ट टर्म सो ट्राई एग्जांपल 2 5 8 11 सो ऑन इट इज एन एग्जांपल फॉर ए पी ए पी मींस इट इज अ सीक्वेंस इन व्हिच ईच सक्सेसिंग टर्म दैट मींस प्रतिवद मतलब टर्म बाय को दे is obtained by adding fixed number that means here we added plus 3 to the preceding term except the first term first term mag bitto matu ulidre ella one term break andre hindre term ge en maativi one fixed number add maativi aage sequence igattu that sequence is called arithmetic progression yes thereafter i had explained how to check whether the sequence is in ap or not is it right yes in the last video i explained about the general form of a ap what is the general form of ap yes the general form of ap is a first term is in the form a second term is in the form a plus b is it right to obtain second term for first term we have add b yes third term is in the form a plus 2d is it right yes this 8 is in the form a plus 2d you can see a means 2 plus 2 into d means 3 that is 2 plus 6 means 8 Yes, fourth term is in the form a plus 3d, a plus 4d, a plus 5d. Similarly, yen in the term is in the form a plus yen minus 1 into d. Yes. Therefore, the formula to find yen in the term of an a is a plus yen minus 1 into d. This much we have finished. Thereafter, I have solved some problems. Yes. First of all, how to find the yen in the term of the a p? Now here we have to solve one problem. Just to use the formula, a yen equals a plus yen minus 1 into d. Yes. Thereafter. Uh, in the AP, then given AP to find the tenth term or fifteenth term, how to solve that also I had explained. Is it right? Okay. Now let us go for some important three more questions. These are most repeated questions. Don't neglect. Too much easy to answer. If all most repeated questions. Yes. Next question. Next question is like this. Find the tenth term of the AP. That is very so. AP. We have to find the tenth term of that AP. On the AP there, that tenth term find what? What is meant by tenth term? Yes, we have to find that. ये टेन नत्रे टर्म फाइंड मार्ट करो देखा मार्ट करें तो ये टेन भी हाउ टू फाइंड यस इट इस गिवन उस थर्ड टर्म इस फाइंड हो उस थर्ड टर्म इस मींस थर्ड टर्म बन रहे हो ये थ्री कोटी दाने इसे ट्राइड यस ये कोटी दाने ये थ्री कोटी दाने व्हाट इस ये थ्री फाइव आंदे अगेन सेवेंथ टर्म इस नाइन सेवेंथ � नहीं ना दे अगर दे अब एक बार मार बैठो यार डॉपाइट दे टेन पता हूँ डोंट नेगलेट दिस स्टूडेंट्स दिस इस दे मोस्ट रिपीटेड क्वेश्चन दिस कैन ऑफ क्वेश्चन दिस इस दे मेंस दे क्वेश्चन आता नहीं था इला इधर इधर तो क्वेश्चन तुम बार टाइम हो रिपीट आए दे दिस फॉर थ्री मार्क तुम सॉल्व मार्क नोट इन दे Yes, the first point right of the question. Find the tenth term of the AP means you have to find a ten. Tenth term under a ten is one find. So, whose third term is five means more than term is five. And if the eighth term is nine, then hath nine term. So, a sequence of hath nine term is nine. So, you have to find out. So, okay, first of all, a ten under a number three. What is a ten? Yes, you have studied. A ten means a plus nine b. You have to find. Is it right? Yes. ये टेन पॉइंट मार्ग बैक बंदरों बंदे ये प्लस नाइन डी पॉइंट मार्ग बैक बंदरों बंदे अगर दे टेंथ टर्म पॉइंट मार्ग बैक बंदे तो आप फाइंड ये प्लस नाइन डी अगर दे ना ये फाइंड मार्ग बैक को आगे ये फाइंड मार्ग बैक को डी फाइंड मार्ग बैक ये वाला अनालाइज करने वाला स्केच हो रहा है फर्स्ट � टेंथ तो जरूर पाइंट मार्क करेंगे ये टेंथ पाइंट मार्क करेंगे ये टेंथ नहीं करेंगे फॉर्म लग होती है सपोज नोटी टू थ्री आ टू फाइव एट फाइंड द टेंथ तो हम अंदर ही मार्क तय करा ये टेंथ एक बस ये प्लस नाइन डी है तो बरेट तय करा करेक्ट है अगर तो ये इधर पूरा ये प्लस नाइन डी ने बरेट हुई है How to find this A and D? A and the D take my mark there. Yes, see, we have given a clue. What is that? Fifth term of five, third term of five, and there, again, seventh term of nine. And there, by using these two clues, you have to find A as well as D. Okay. First of all, this side, right? Given A three is equal to five. A three means what is that? A three means A plus two D. That's why I told general form of A is very important. Yes, other than you correct the calculation, what you are going to get three means a plus two d. A plus two d, and then five, and then take this one as equation number one. 
yes a3 means 5 and code idane a3 means a plus 2d plus 5 okay that's equation number 1 next another clue is given what is that another clue given 7 the term is 9 7 the term means a7 is 9 and code idane what is a7 yes you know a7 is a plus 6d a plus 6d is to the 9 and the yes let us take that in a sequential number 2 now we have to look at the we have got two equations in two variables you can see the other equation is there correct the other two variables are there that means here the variables are a and b here also the variables are a and b to find a and b now you have to solve these two equations that means it is nothing but solving a pair of linear equation in two variables not yell in the yell in the yell in the yell ये भी वो लोग पढ़ा ना क्या है ये भी को मिनी डिलेशन पेर आप देने रखा शनि ना टू वेरिएबल इगा ये मत डी ना सॉल्व मर बैठ पड़े इस यार ना सॉल्व दिस टू इक्वेशंस टुगेदर है टुगेदर दैट मींस इट इस नथिंग बट टा पेर आप देने रखा शनि ना टू वेरिएबल ओके लेट अस सॉल्व इक्वेशन नंबर वन a plus 6d is equal to 9 that is equation number 2 which method you will choose always you have to choose elimination method because it is the easiest method yes is there any necessary to multiply with some constants some constants no need because quotient of x is say cancel out there cancel out there cancel out there elimination method on 9 per hour the product of the there are you directly for elimination method yes you have to subtract equation 2 from equation number 1 by subtracting you have to change the sign this plus b becomes minus this plus becomes minus this plus becomes a minus yes you know a minus a get cancelled plus 2d minus 60 you have to go for subtraction if you subtract 2 from 6 you will get 4d 6 is the beta number at sign is a minus okay equals plus minus is there you have to go for subtraction if you subtract 5 from 9 you will get a 4 9 is the beta number this sign is a minus is it right yes now you have to find d transfer this minus 4 to that side that is d is equal to minus 4 don't write plus 4 because the into is there if it go for that side it becomes divided by minus 4 that is d is equal to minus 5 minus is plus 4 ones are 4 ones are 1 by 1 you can write it as a 1 that's why we got the answer of d what is the answer of d 1 you know if you get one value you know how to find the another value how to find the another value just you have to find you have to substitute d equals 1 either in equation number 1 or in equation number 2 that is your well and wish you can use any method or any equation you can use equation number 1 what is the name equation number 1 a plus 2d is equal to 5 is there a plus 2 into d means it is 1 equals 1 5 that is a plus 2 1s are 2 equals 5 I have to find a transfer 2 to that side that is a is equal to 5 minus 2 what is 5 minus 2 a equals 3 how can a is equal to d is equal to d now suppose question and allow find the a and b and get what it is a and b and the first term and the second term and the third term and the fourth term and the final term ये भी क्या दिला? Find के tenth term को क्या दिला? Yes, तेरा सवाल है tenth term। थोड़ी tenth tenth term find मार लेके ये मतलब d में को। Yes, ये वाले तो क्यों नहीं उसमें आता है ना ये मतलब d में find मार आए थे। हाँ कर रहे? Now you have to find the tenth term। Yes, now the next topic is to find ये ten। How to find ये ten? Yes, we know the formula। ये ten is equal to ये plus sir nine d। Is it right? Yes, that is ये ten is equal to ये means the first term। What is the first term here? Three plus 9 into d, 9d means 9 into d, d means here it is 1. That's why it is 3 plus 9 ones are 9, what is 3 plus 9? Well, that is the 10th term, what is the 10th term? 12 is the 10th term. Yes, you can verify. How to verify? Think, dear students, you think what? Why verify what? Yes, that is the 10th term. A to d is the 10th term. What is the 10th term? A to d is the 10th term. Correct? Yes, what is the 10th term? Yes, verification. Yes, verification. In exam, don't go for verification. It's waste of time. ये मतलब आप तो हमारी कोशिश करने वाले फिर मारते हैं जैसे है। How to verify? How to verify मारते हैं? ये पी ले, ये मतलब डी को तो ना ये पी बनी बोले करेक्ट ना? ये means three, अगर first term three, second term में ना करते हैं, ये के डी ना आर मारो बोले को, अगर three plus one, four, next मतलब डी आर मारी, five, next term six, next term seven, next eight, next nine, next to ten, next to eleven, next to twelve, next to thirteen, so on, करेक्ट ना? Yes, all ready. Third term ये इधर हो गए, yes it is a one, a two, a three, 
Then you have to see the seven term. Seven term is four, five, six, seven. That is the seven term. Again, see the tenth term. Tenth term is the number eight, ninth, tenth. Tenth term is the twelfth. See, it is given find the tenth term of the year. Use third term is five. Then third term is five. Again, so seven term is nine. Again, then the seven term is nine. Seven term is nine. Again, the hundred term is nine. Again, the twelfth. Again, the number twelfth number is seven. That means if you put a eight number again, the twelfth number is there. Now answer correct is there is a very important problem. Don't neglect this. Once again, we explain. So simple. Find the tenth term of AB means you have to find A ten. A ten means A plus ninety equals question mark. That means you have to find A as well as you have to find B. And this given is third term is five. Third term means A three equals five. And seventh term is nine. Seventh term is A seven equals seven. Nine. Use these two clues. A three means A plus two equals five. Then a seven means a plus six b equals nine. Now these two are pair of linear equations in two variables. If you solve these two equations by elimination method, we are going to get a equals three and b equals one. Now yes, a is equal to b is equal to. I have to find a ten. A ten means a plus nine b. If you simplify, we will get a ten equals twelve. We can verify a and three is equal to. Now a pair of variables. So a and a pair of first term three. A and a first term. Again, d and d add one to d. वन आर मार्ट है फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट दो ये पी एल ही है तारे के दम नोडी फाइव सारे के दम नाइन टेन तरफ भी नहीं है ना फैल ही है होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस प्रॉब्लम डोंट नेगलेक्टेड इट इस सम सो इजी एस वेल एस सम सो इम्पोर्टेंट आर सो नोट दे नहीं आंसर आए दे टुडे तुम बस सिंपल आगे दा प्रॉब्लम आगे दे विल आस्क दिस क्वेश्चन फॉर नॉट फॉर टू मार्क दे विल आस्क फॉर थ्री मार्क्स दे फॉर प्रैक्टिस दिस केड ऑफ क्वेश्चंस डोंट वरी आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व वन मोर प्रॉब्लम सिमिलर टू दिस प्रॉब्लम ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज लाइक दिस फाइंड द ट्वेल्थ टर्म ऑफ द एपी फाइंड द ट्वेल्थ टर्म ऑफ द एपी कोस फाइंड द ट्वेल्थ टर्म ऑफ द एपी यस क्वेश्चन इज लाइक दिस कोस सेकंड टर्म इज 15 कोस सेकंड टर्म सेकंड टर्म इज 15 एंड फिफ्थ टर्म इज 30 एंड फिफ्थ टर्म इज 30 वंस अगेन यस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम द क्वेश्चन इज Find the twelfth term of the AP. What you have to find? There is some AP. On the AP, there, AP only. You have to find twelfth term. Twelfth term means eight plus eight will find our way to. Then it is given second term is fifteen. Here, what is that? Second term means eight two. Eight two is what? Fifteen is what? And fifth term is thirty. Fifth term means eight plus eight is what? Thirty is what? Is it right? Yes, sir. Now solution yes first of all see a five number now find the twelfth term twelfth term under a twelve is twelve five number you know what is the a twelve and the a no yes general form of a twelve what is the what is the general form of a twelve a plus eleven d correct a twelve five number you know five number you a plus eleven d five number you have that there a a one five number you a is question mark again D A one five part होता है, A plus ninety five part होता है, A plus six करते, correct है? Okay. A यानि D A five part थी रा, yes ये आर क्यों इधर है? What are the clues? A two is fifteen and A five is thirty. Okay, let us write G one. What is G one here? Second term is six by two fifteen. What is the second term? Second term is A plus D. What is A plus D? It is fifteen. Take this one as equation number one. ये ना तकनीक आता है equation number one ना तकनीक आता है रा. Next, another clue is given. What is the another clue? Fifth term is thirty. I have to remove one term. I have to remove one term. A5 is equal to thirty. And put it on it. A5 means the formula is a plus four d equals a plus thirty. Yes, it is equation number two. Now we have got two equations in two variables. If we solve these two equations in two variables, you are going to get a and a. D. That is nothing but simultaneous linear equation. Or it is also called pair of linear equations in two variables. Let us solve these two equations by substitution. So elimination method. Yes, solving equation number one and two. What is equation number one? A plus d is equal to fifteen. That is equation number one. Equation number two is a plus four d equals thirty. That is equation number two. How you will solve this? Two x or what? Three bar na. Use elimination method. See equation term a is same. Directly go for subtraction. Is subtract equation two from equation number one. This plus becomes minus. This plus becomes minus. Again this plus becomes minus. Now you can cancel this two. Plus a minus a get cancelled. 
one day minus four day. One is plus, another one is minus. Subtraction. We are going to get three day. Is it right? Yes, three day. Four is the bigger number. It's a yes. Minus. Yes, equal is the right equal. It is plus. This one is minus. Subtraction. You have to subtract fifteen from thirty. That is fifteen. You are going to get. This thirty is the bigger number. It's a yes. Minus. Is it right? Yes. Now we have to find d. Now transfer is minus three to that side. This d is equal to minus fifteen divided by minus three. This d is equal to minus five minus is plus three one is a three five is a. What is five by one? You know five by one number. Five. How much is it? D is not five. Is a d is a five. Only a common difference is a. E a is a. E a is a. What is a? 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 D D C के दर्शन का इल्ला आप यहाँ पे find ये आंसर हाउ तू find ये use any one of these two equations ये बेटर याद रखो उन्हें use मारे बेटर इस use equation number one what is the equation number one a plus d is equal to fifteen is there yes a means a only plus d means five only equals to right fifteen now we have to find a the answer is five to that side then is a is equal to fifteen minus five what is a अगर a ये रो a is sir ten Yes, sir. Now let us continue. What is the question? Let us find the twelfth term. Twelfth term, find what we can do. How to find the twelfth term? Yes, we know twelfth term means a twelve. A twelve is a plus sir. Eleven. This formula you must remember. The formula name put like that. Oh, cost is not. A a twelve means a plus sir. Twelve is the number eleven. Okay, how can it? A twelve is equal to a means what is the first term? See, a means sir ten. Plus eleven into eleven d means eleven into d d means d is five. Now simplify. This ten plus eleven five is a fifty five. Just ten plus fifty five is a sixty five. How can that? Find the sum of the a b and a. That sixty five. How can that? Here only a b is there. Here the sum of the a. How many parts are there? How many parts are there? Five. Let us verify. How can that? Verify what we have. A b and a are only first term is ten. Yes. How can that? A b is first term is ten. D in what is there? Five. If you have five, five more becomes eight. Eight more becomes four. Five eight more becomes four. First term is ten. Next term is fifteen. Next twenty. Twenty-five. Thirty. Thirty-five. Forty. Forty-five. Fifty. Fifty-five. Sixty. Sixteen. Five. You can see the third, second term is fifteen. See here, second term is sir fifteen. And the fifth term is thirty. You can see third, fourth, fifth, fifth term is there six thirty. Uh, there. Again, hundred term are what I am going to do. Now, only a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, a eight, a nine, a ten, a eleven, a twelve. Yes, sir. Twelfth term is what I am going to do. Sixteen. What I am going to do? The answer is correct. There. Oh, there is no doubt. You know, that was the correct answer. This. I will give some homework questions in the uh, PDF. Try to solve the homework questions. But can you can solve these kind of questions in the exam? If it comes, okay. If there are problems, then we will get the answer to the homework. Okay. Practice hard. Hundred percent, you can solve this too. This kind of questions, okay. Now let us move further. So we move forward. Next question is like this. Find the AP. Next problem. So this is also very important. Find the AP. Yes, the question is find the AP. Because third term is five. Find the AP whose third term is whose third term is five, and the question is find the AP whose third term is five, and seventh term is nine, and seventh term is nine. Yes, same question, similar to the same previous question. ये मेरा क्वेश्चन है कि तो अदै इतना रही थे, but इतने जो अर्थात मर्ड है, अनालाइज मर्ड है क्वेश्चन कौन करोगे ना? Find the AP. What is find the AP? Find the AP अंदर ये लो. आ सीक्वेंस याव तो होते हैं बरी बरी को सीक्वेंस बरी बरी का दरेन मर्ड बरी को मोदल लिया ना आधा को जानो सियाव तो बरी बरी करेक्ट है अगर है सीक्वेंस याव तो बरी बरी करते हैं यार तो फाइंड ये फाइंड मर्ड बरी ताकत रहे अली ये वन अंदर येरो फाइंड मर्ड बरी को सेकंड टर्म ये टू अंदर येरो फाइंड मर्ड � अगर फोर पर टर्म ये फोर याद होगा फाइन मार्क तो नारायण टर्म पर सो आठ पर बट सही करेक्ट है यस तो कर ले फाइन भी ये भी मिक्स है अब फर्स्ट फोर टर्म पर याद होगा ना ना फाइन मार्क एक बढ़ती थी भी हाँ ये उस जी वन ये कोटि दाल है थर्ड टर्म जी वन ये नाम कोटि दाल है क्यों मूने टर्म ये बार आत आगे सेवेंथ टर्म सेवेंथ टर्म मींस ये सेवेन सेवेंथ टर्म में बारात है नाइन बारात है आगे ये वो ये भी ना बड़ी बात हो अगर ये मोर एंड टर्म हो फाइव आगे बात हो आगे ये एंड टर्म हो नाइन आगे बात हो आगे ये भी याद हो तो फाइव मार्ट बात हो यस ये भी याद हो फाइव मार्ट बात है तो ये वन याद हो ये टू याद हो ये थ्री याद हो ये फोर याद हो फाइव 
ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಎ ಒನ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಎ ಅದನ್ನ ಎ ಫೈನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಎ ಟು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಬಿ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ನಾನು ಏನು ಫೈನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಎ ನು ಫೈನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಡಿ ನು ಫೈನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಎ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟೂ ಡಿ ಅಲ್ಲೂ ಡಿ ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಎ ಫೋರ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಡಿ ಅಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಎ ಮತ್ತೆ ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಡಿ ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಕಡೆ ಯೂಶಲ್ ಎ ಪಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎ ಮತ್ತೆ ನಾವೇನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಡಿ ಎಲ್ ಫೈನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಲ್ಲೇನಿತ್ತು ಈ ಹತ್ತು ಐಟಮ್ ಹನ್ನೆರಡು ಐಟಮ್ ಕೇಳಿಲ್ಲ ಅದ್ರ ಬದಲು ಮೊದಲೇ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಟರ್ಮ್ ಯಾವುದು ಅಂತ ಫೈನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಕೇಳಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ ಇದೇ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಫೈನ್ ದಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಏಟ್ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳ್ತಾನೆ ಎಲ್ಲದೂ ಕೂಡ ಒಂದೇ ಅದು ನೀವು ನೆನ್ಪಿಡಬೇಕು ಓಕೆ ಎಸ್ ತರ್ಡ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಅಂತ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೆ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟೂ ಡಿ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಎ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ನೈನ್ ಎ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸೆವೆಂತ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ನೈನ್ ಅಂತ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ What is the formula to find 7th term? Yes, it is a plus 6b. That is, a plus 6b is equal to the base of 9. Again, say, now we have two equations in two variables. If you solve these two equations in two variables, we are going to get the answers of a and a b. Which method is preferable to use an elimination method? Don't go for substitution method. Use an elimination method. Yes, now you are going to write solving equation number. 1 and 2. What is equation number 1? A plus 2D is equal to 5. That is equation number 1. A plus 6D is equal to 9. That is equation number 2. Yes, how you solve this 2? You can say quotient of A is say go for elimination method. Just if you subtract this one from this one, A get cancelled. That's why subtract equation 2 from equation number 1. Yes, this becomes minus. This plus becomes minus. This plus also becomes up. Minus. Plus here minus I get that. Cancelled. 2D minus 6D means it is 4D. 6 is the bigger number at sign is minus. 5 minus 9 is 4. Right is the bigger number at sign is minus. You know the reason I will not explain. Okay. B is equal to minus 4 by minus 4. And the D is equal to minus 5 minus plus 4 ones are 4. And the D is equal to how much is D? D is 1. Let us continue further. Yes, D is equal to Saka. Ill law from equation number. 1 equation number 1 in the one day. What is the real equation number 1? A plus 2D is equal to 5. A plus 2 into 1 is equal to 5 because D means 1. A plus 2 1s are 2 is equal to 5. Transfer 2 to that side. That is A is equal to 5 minus 2. What is 5 minus 2? 3. That is A3 and D A and D A and D A. A is equal to A and D is equal to A. Yes, A and D is equal to A. That is A and D is equal to A. That is A and D is equal to A. That is A and D is equal to A. The question is find the AP. How do we find the AP? AP find the AP. AP means first term find the AP. What is the first term? First term means A. A means A. You can see A means 3. First term is the first term. No. Minimum is the first term. AP is the first term. What is the second term? You know second term means A plus D. A plus D is the second term in a general form. A means 3. Plus D means 1, see A means 3, D means 1. Because the 3 plus 1 is 4. Now we have to find the third term. Third term is A plus 2D. It is standard formula. It is practice for the third term. But it is not the third term. It is not the third term. It is local method. It is standard methods. Okay. Now A means 3. Plus 2 into D means 1. That is 3 plus 2. Yes, it is not the third term. 5 are there. Next step, 4th term 5 1 a, 4th term 3 a plus 3 d, a means 3 plus 2, 3 into d means 3 into 1, plus 3 plus 3 1s are 3 are there, 3 plus 3 means 6 are there. What are there? Therefore, a, b is 3, 4, 5, 6, so on. He can continue on that, a, b, c are there. Any doubts? Okay, you can verify, you can verify on the right side of the right. Third term 5 and then, third term 5 and then, you can remember what you have to do again. 7th term 5 and then, 9 and then, yes. This is 4th, 5th, 7th, 6th, 8th, 7th and then, 9 and then, yes, you can verify also, break the problem. Verify the problem, no need of verify, exam will be verified on the board already. Just find whatever they ask you about now, find, hope you understood this question. Again, it is for 3 and 1, this is for 3 and 1, this is for 3 and 1. 
ಮೂರು ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಆಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ದೊಡ್ಡ ನೆಗ್ಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಈ ತರ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ನೆಗ್ಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಸಮ್ ಮೋರ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಲೂಪ್ ಆಗಿ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಬೇರೆ ತರ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಇಗೆ ಹೋಗುವ ಈಗ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಟರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಸಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಟರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅಗೇನ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಪೀಟೆಡ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಅದು ಕೂಡ ತುಂಬಾ ಟೈಮ್ ಕೇಳಿರೋ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ನೆಗ್ಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಡಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಇಸ್ which term of the ap next problem is which term of the ap which term of the ap 4 6 8 so on is 22 is the question okay first of all try to understand the problem you have to analyze the problem first what is the question here which term of the ap and the ap alli yava term 4 6 8 so on is 22 is 22 means ಈ ಫೋರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಏಟ್ ಸೋ ಆನ್ ಹಿಂದಿನ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ಅನ್ನೋದು ಯಾವ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಅದು ಅದು ಹತ್ತನೇ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಹನ್ನೊಂದನೇ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಅಥವಾ ಹನ್ನೆರಡನೇ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಅಂತ ಈಗ ಫೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಓಪ್ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟಾಂಡ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಯ್ತು ಅನ್ಸುತ್ತೆ ವಿಚ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಎ ಪಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಯಾವ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಫೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ಅನ್ನೋದು ಮೂರನೇ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಅಥವಾ ಐದನೇ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಅಥವಾ ಎಂಟನೇ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಅಥವಾ ಒಂಬತ್ತನೇ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಅಂತ ಫೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಎಷ್ಟನೇ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಗೊತ್ತಿದೆಯಾ ನಮಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಯೂಶಲ್ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲದ ನೀನ್ ತಗೊಳ್ಬೇಕು ಬೇರೆ ಕಡೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲದ ನೀನ್ ತಗೊಂತೀರ ಲೆಟ್ ಏಂಜ್ ಆಫ್ ರೋಹನ್ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಅಂತ ತಗೊಂಡ್ ಆಯ್ತಾ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ ತಗೊಂತೀರ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಲೆಟ್ ಎಂತ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟೂ ಅಂತ ತಗೊಂತೀರಿ ಯಾಕೆ ಎಂತ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಅಂತ ತಗೊಳ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನೋಡಿ ಇದು ಎ ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಹದಿಮೂರನೇ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಎ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಹದಿನಾಲ್ಕನೇ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಎ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಹದಿನೈದನೇ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಎ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಹದಿನಾರನೇ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಒಟ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಗೊತ್ತು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಒಂದು ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಕರೆಕ್ಟಾ ಎಸ್ ಇದು ಎ ಫೋರ್ ಎ ಫೈವ್ ಎ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಏನು ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಏನು ಒಂದು ಗೊತ್ತು ನಮ್ಗೆ ಏನು ಅಂತ ಬಿಡಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಎ ಎನ್ ಅಂತ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಎನ್ ಅನ್ನು ಇಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಫೈನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಎಸ್ ಇಷ್ಟ ನೆನ್ಪಟ್ಟು ಸಾಕು ನೆನ್ಪಿಡಿ ವಿಚ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಅಂತ ಬಂದಿದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಫೈನ್ ಎನ್ ನೆನ್ಪಿಡ್ಬೇಕು ಮುಂದು ಕೂಡ ಹೀಗೆ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ವಿಚ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ ಫೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ನಾವು ಎನ್ ಅನ್ನ ಫೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅಥವಾ ಇನ್ನೊಂದ್ಸಲಿ ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಫೋರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಏಟ್ ಸೋ ಆನ್ ಹೀಗೆ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋದ್ರೆ ಮುಂದೆ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟೂ ಬಂದೇ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಆ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟೂ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಎಷ್ಟನೆಯ ಥರ್ಮ್ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಫೈನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಈಗ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟೂ ಅನ್ನೋದು ನೋಡಿ ಎ ಟೆನ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಟೆನ್ತ್ ಥರ್ಮ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಎ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಎ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಎ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಎ ಏನು ಅಂತ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಏನು ಅಂತ ತಗೊಳ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಎ ಎನ್ ಅಂತ ತಗೊಳ್ಬೇಕು ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಅಸ್ಯು ಲೆಟ್ ಎ ಎನ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟೂ ಇದನ್ನ ಎಂತ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಅಂತ ತಗೊಳ್ಬೇಕು ಹಾಗೆ ಇದು ಏನು ಫೈನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಮುಂದೆ ಹೋಗಿ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಎನ್ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಏನು ಅಂತ ಫೈನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಎನ್ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಹತ್ತು ಆದ್ರೆ ಎ ಟೆನ್ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟೂ ಎನ್ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಹದಿನೈದು ಆದ್ರೆ ಎ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಅಂತ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹತ್ತೈದನೇ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟೂ ಅಂತ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಕರೆಕ್ಟಾ ಎಸ್ ಈಗ ಎ ಎನ್ ಇ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಗೊತ್ತಿದ್ಯಾ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಎ ಎನ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟು ಡಿ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ನಾವು ಏನ್ ಫೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಎ ಮತ್ತೆ ಡಿ ಅನ್ನ ಫೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ರೈಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬರೀರಿ ಎ ಎನ್ ಇ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಯಾವ್ದು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಫೋರ್ ಡಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಎ ಟೂ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎ ಒನ್ ಎ ಟೂ ಮೀನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎ ಒನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ಡಿ ಎಷ್ಟಿದೆ 
verify mark on a bit are verification exam don't go for verification 4 6 8 next up on a bit 10 next to 12 next 14 16 18 20 20 no day this 22 it is a1 correct a2 it is a3 a4 a5 a6 a7 a8 a9 it is a10 correct it is a10 correct it is a10 Hey, hey, once again, this friend, because it's the most repeated, most important question, they will ask this for three more. The question is which term of the AP 4, 6, 8, so on is 22? And then 4, 6, 8, so on, 22 mark of the 22 on the bar of the 22 on the yesterday term on the 5 mark of the NPD, yesterday term on the 5 mark of the NPD, yen is to the 5 mark. First of all, this is A4, and the fifth term is A5, and the sixth term is A6. This is the same thing. Let AN equals 22 1. That means the nth term is A5. 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 The nth term is A5. The nth term is A5. What is the nth term of the A5? A plus N minus 1 into D equals 22. A means 4, n minus 1 into d means 2 1. Then simplify this, you will get n is equal to 10. n equals 10 and then a n 22 or a 10 22. a 10 and then you know 10 to term. Hagada 22 on the distant term, 10 to term of 22. Yes, hope you understood. It is very important. Alpha Gila Minosali no video, 100% you can understand. Don't neglect this kind of questions. If you practice means 100% you can get that. You can earn 3 marks easily. Okay, let us continue one more problem. This question is like this. Which term of the AP? Yes, which term of the AP? Next problem is which term of the AP? 2, 12, 22, so on is 92 is the question. Yes, what is the question? Which term of the AP? 2, 12, 22, so on is 92. Again, same kind of question. Let us go for the solution. 2, 12, 22, so on, 92 on put it in. Question is, 92 on the other, yesterday term on 5 more. Yesterday term on the other, other, 8th term on the 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 other, Yes, again, we know the final value. A ten na 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 na. A fifteen na 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 na. Haga then we are defining n is equal to question mark. Use the formula. A ten means a plus n minus one into d is equal to ninety two. You are defining a. A means first term. What is first term? Two. D means you are defining a two minus a one. What is a two minus a one? What is twelve minus two? What is twelve minus two? Haga na d a no d is a. Then a means this 2 plus n minus 1 into d means you have to write 10 equals 22. Now simplify 2 plus it is more normally binomial 10 into n is 10 then minus 10 into 1 equals 10 equals 92. Now simplify plus 2 minus 10 it is minus 8 plus 10 then is equal to 92. Now transfer this minus 8 to that side that is 10 then is equal to 92 plus 8 that is 10 then is equal to 100 yes n beko 10 na kade kasi n is equal to 100 by 10 what is 100 by 10 10 haga the therefore a n 92 on padi kri n na dre 10 haga the a 10 is equal to 92 a 10 na 92 on dre a 10 na dre no 92 on dre hatta na kade kara bari kira aksa therefore 10 na kama 92 is the 10 na kama kri Hope you understood. We can verify more than this. This is more than this. This is 32, 42, 52, 62, 72, 82, 92. Count more than this. Next term is 30 term. If you have a good one, you can count more than this. You can use the mass signal and kill it. You can use the formula. You can use the formula. You can use the formula. Otherwise, count it more than this. Mark it. Hope you understood these kind of questions. These are for how many marks? These are for three more questions. Don't make it. If you practice 100% you will solve this problems in the examination. Okay. Let us take some different kind of questions. Next question is like this. Find the number of terms in the AP. Next question is find the number of terms. Yes, find the number of terms in the AP. Find the number of terms in the AP. ये ये इतनी है फाइनाइट ये पे फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स इन द फाइनाइट क्या है इतनी ये पे इंपोर्टेंट है हेलो टाइम आह थ्री एट आह थर्टी सो ऑन 